From weight loss books to special diet foods, it seems like the keto diet is popping up all over the place these days. And, for good reason. Is ketogenic dieting right for you? It's easy to find out. We've put together a list of 65 things you should know about the keto diet. Let's get started. The keto diet is a high-fat, low-carb plan that is meant to put your body into a state of ketosis in order to burn more fat faster. After about 2 to 7 days of following the keto diet, your body goes into a state called ketosis, or the state your body enters when it doesn't have enough carbs for your cells to use for energy. Ketosis is what occurs when your body doesn't have enough glucose to burn for energy, so it begins to burn fat instead, resulting in a buildup of ketones in the body. It's important to note that the ketogenic diet is a short-term diet that's focused on weight loss rather than the pursuit of health benefits. While the total amount varies from person to person, the ketogenic diet aims to limit total carbs to about 20 to 50 grams a day, while also eating a moderate amount of protein and lots of fats. The goal is getting into a state of ketosis, where your body burns fat rather than carbs for fuel. Even if you're accustomed to a relatively low-carb diet, keto recipes will still be even lower carb. The liver turns fat into ketones, which supply energy for the brain. Since you may feel lethargic on the keto diet to start with, it's worth taking your exercise routine down a notch. In the long run, there are strategic ways to eat carbs to fuel your workout without taking your body out of ketosis. When you're eating the foods that get you there, your body can enter a state of ketosis in one to three days. Once the body reaches ketosis, most cells will use ketone bodies to generate energy until you start eating carbohydrates again. When protein is digested, some amino acids can be converted to glucose, so too much protein can take you out of ketosis. In this way, a keto diet is essentially mimicking what happens to our bodies when we fast. Even sneaking a few extra carbs is enough to disrupt the state of ketosis and cause the diet to be ineffective. Your average day on a ketogenic diet might include eggs, cheese, assorted meats and small amounts of nuts and avocados, and modest amounts of vegetables that are low in carbs, like spinach and lettuce. A typical ketogenic diet consists of 75% fat, 20% protein, and 5% carbs. Compared to the average American diet which is 33% fat, 16% protein, and 51% carbs. My advice is to cut your carbs to fewer than 50 grams to ensure that you are well on your way into ketosis within one week. The SAD, or standard American diet yes that is a real acronym is based on carbs like breads, pasta and ice cream. The shift from burning carbs to burning fat for energy is the hallmark of ketosis and the reason that many experience weight loss and boosts in energy and cognitive health. Benefits of a keto diet include weight loss, mental clarity, sustained energy, and reduced inflammation. One downside to a ketogenic diet for weight loss is the difficulty maintaining it. Not all calories are created equal when it comes to healthy eating and weight loss, so they're not a focus on keto. Some athletes swear by the ketogenic diet, not just for weight loss but for improved performance in their sport, as well. As you can imagine, eating a ketogenic diet can induce rapid weight loss, and beginners typically report losing the largest amounts of weight when they first start. The initial rapid weight loss is partly from water loss caused by depleted glycogen stores, but also includes some fat loss. If formulated correctly, the ketogenic diet can swiftly turn your body into a fat-burning machine. Triglyceride storage is then down-regulated, but also fat burning gets up-regulated. Adding one or two higher carb days assures the body that starvation is not imminent and body fat burning can commence. There are also some suggestions that caffeine may increase ketone levels through its fat-burning properties. Although MCTs provide your body with a source of energy, they do not encourage energy production from fat-burning like omega-3 fatty acids do. In one study, men who ate two tablespoons of coconut oil per day on the keto diet lost one inch, on average, from their waistlines without making any other dietary changes. Many people start out with the intention of eating a ketogenic diet in an effort to lose weight, reduce inflammation and improve insulin sensitivity. If weight loss has stalled and you're feeling hungry despite following the consistent keto food plan, the body may be stuck in starvation mode. As a result, it will stall weight loss and hang on to body fat in case food continues to be scarce. The keto diet allows many people to eat the types of high-fat foods that they enjoy, such as red meats, fatty fish, nuts, cheese and butter, while still losing weight. 
the focus of the diet is changing the fuel source, not necessarily calorie restriction, which is the basis for most other weight loss diets. According to some advocates, keto diets are a one-size-fits-all solution for obesity and the hunger that comes from traditional weight loss diets. The average monthly weight loss on keto is about 4 to 10 pounds. If you are just trying to lose weight, it doesn't really matter whether or not you're actually in ketosis, provided you are consuming fewer calories on average compared to how you were eating before. The keto diet does a pretty good job of preserving muscle mass during weight loss, improving overall body composition, and preventing metabolic rate from plummeting. Ketones themselves have a muscle sparing effect, and anyone trying to lose weight wants to lose fat, not muscle. This means that losing weight while in ketosis can help prevent the breakdown of our hard-earned muscle, all while losing fat. This is why the keto diet can be advantageous for overweight and sedentary people seeking weight loss, because an energy crisis can be induced without the need for exercise. One meta-analysis of low-carbohydrate diets showed a large advantage in weight loss. Drinking enough water can help you burn fat and increase your energy levels. If you want to get the most out of your ketogenic diet, consider adding in 30 to 60 minutes of exercise a day. The AHA also recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week for heart health. If you've skipped a meal, exercised for more than an hour or reduced your carb intake for a period of time, you've likely been in ketosis before. Balance those practices with daily physical exercise, and you've established a solid base for weight loss and a healthy lifestyle. Jot down your first week's plan from meals and snacks to sleep and exercise, this way you can structure your day accordingly and have all the supplies you need on hand. The only real time where ketosis can give performance loss is in exercises that need an explosive action. You may also try keto cycling by pairing carbs with exercise or highly active periods. For frequent exercise or activities that last longer than an hour, you'll want to trend toward the higher end of the protein target. This will depend on other factors like exercise, carbohydrates consumed, and how adapted your body is at producing and utilizing ketones. Caffeine has also been shown to boost stamina and effort when consumed just before exercise. Younger, fit people who exercise a lot may be able to tolerate quite a lot of protein and still stay in ketosis. Tea is rich in antioxidants and has less caffeine than coffee. Drinking tea may reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke, help with weight loss and boost your immune system. Reduced hunger can lead to fewer calories consumed, which will lead to weight loss in the long term and help keep weight off. Usually, a ketogenic diet causes weight loss without intentional calorie restriction. If you're doing keto for weight loss, it's a good idea to keep track of both your total carbs and net carbs. Protein promotes satiety and takes the most energy to digest and absorb, so differences in weight loss may be net calories absorbed, rather than decreases in insulin or increases in metabolism. Be aware that regularly snacking on cheese when you're not hungry is a common mistake that can slow weight loss. Stick through those early days to help you reach your goals and to achieve your desired keto weight loss results. Keto weight loss will fluctuate from week to week and depending on how much they have to lose. Other diets may be about eating a lower amount of calories or restricting a certain food group, but cheating may not affect the way the body operates as it does on the keto diet. Well, there you have it. 65 notes on the keto diet. Interested in amplifying your results? Check the link in the description.